Welcome to CARE. In this video, we'll guide you through the complete process of mounting and setting limit switches on our single-phase quarter-turn electric actuator. Key components of the actuator. Dual cable entry terminal for simplified wiring, a continuous position indicator for real-time monitoring, and a manual override key for safe operation during maintenance. Now let's see the specifications. Model, serial number, voltage, valve type, size and IP rating. Mechanical mounting process. Step one, set valve to closed position. Manually rotate the butterfly valve to the fully closed position. This step ensures proper alignment during actuator mounting. Step two, place coupling if required. If needed, securely fit the coupling over the valve stem. Step three, mount the actuator. Carefully lower the actuator onto the valve, ensuring the shaft and flange holes are aligned. If the bolts don't fit easily, gently rotate the actuator using the manual key in the clockwise C direction until alignment is achieved. Insert the hex bolts upward from the valve flange into the actuator base. Tighten them evenly in a crisscross pattern for firm mounting. Now let's look at the components. Motor, terminals, limit switches, and indicators. Red indicates the valve is fully closed while green indicates it is fully open, and mechanical indicator. Now let's see wiring connections. Refer to the wiring diagram provided on the actuator. Power supply wiring, terminal one to neutral, terminal two to line, four to 20 MA command signal wiring, terminal three to positive, terminal four to negative, four to 20 MA feedback signal wiring, terminal five to positive, terminal six to negative, This is a 4 to 20 milliamperes input current signal source. This is the 4 to 20 milliamperes reader device that displays the actuator output. Power on the unit and test full open and close operations to verify correct travel. If the valve is not completely closing, limit switch adjustment is required. Closed position setting. Turn off the power. Use the manual override with a spanner to fully close the valve. Loosen the closed cam screw using a 2.5 mm Allen key. Rotate the cam anti-clockwise until a click is heard. Tighten the screw to lock the position. Power the actuator and test the response. Now, we'll set the potentiometer for position feedback calibration. First, remove the mechanical indicator. Check the end rotation limit of the potentiometer to avoid damage. Align the feedback gear and rotate it forward by 3 T. Tighten the screw securely. Open position setting. Turn off the power again. Rotate the actuator manually to fully open the valve. Loosen the open cam screw. Rotate the cam clockwise until the switch clicks. Tighten the screw and restore power. Verify full open and close actuation. Calibration procedure. Before you begin, ensure proper power and 4 to 20 milliamperes input signal supply. Step one, set four milliampere command and press the calibration push button for three seconds. The motor will start running. Step two, send a 20 milliampere command before the valve will move to the full open position. Once it reaches fully open, the actuator will return to close direction. Step three, Send 4 milliampere command again before the valve will move to fully closed position. Calibration is now complete. After calibration, check full open and close actuation with feedback. Troubleshooting tips. Actuator is not working? First issue, check power supply. If it's not proper voltage, then check the wiring Second issue. Input signals are not proper from panel, then check proper the wire. If it's not showing proper milliamperes, then check the wiring of signal. Third issue. Motor is not working. All power and input signals are proper, then check the PCB output voltage on the command. Fourth issue. If your actuator rotates a full 360 degrees and doesn't stop at the open or closed position. Step one, turn off the power before adjusting. Step two. Loosen the feedback gear carefully. Step three, loosen the limit switch screws. 
adjust the limit switch to the correct position, and re-tighten the screws. Step 4. Power on the actuator and give the close command and check if it stops correctly at the close positions. The red LED should turn on. This confirms the issue is resolved. Step 5. Finally, set and secure the potentiometer feedback gear. Now do the calibration. After this, do the calibration process and check working of actuator as per command. Your actuator is now calibrated and ready for reliable operation. And any other issue can contact to our customer service team. For more details, visit www.carindia.com.